It's gonna be a pain in the ass to remember my new name. Marissa Hayes, not Helena Hammond. Okay I think I got it. Remember, Marissa, Helena is dead. Okay, at least I'm home though. I'm never ever doing shit like that ever again. Although I do kinda miss Raphael and Bobby Earl. Snap out of it Marissa. Okay what's next? Oh yeah, gotta go to my cousin Ben Podlazel's house in South Lincoln. According to Google Maps, it is an hour away. Let me call up an Uber. Hello. My name is Parrish and I'll be your Uber driver today. Your destination is Lincoln, Nebraska, correct? Nice to meet you Parrish, and yes it is. Just making sure. I'll get you there in no time flat. Awesome possum. Do you mind me asking why you need to go there? I'm a, uh, um, visiting a friend. Oh okay. Well, I don't have friends. I scared them all away. Aw, uh, don't worry, I'll be your friend. Really? Wow, that's awesome. Anyway did you know that aliens are watching us through the streetlights? And they're feeding that information to kangaroos in Australia so they can plan an attack on America. Now I see why you don't have friends. The fuck was that? Thanks for letting me stay here Benny boy. Don't call me that, but thanks. How the hell did you even manage to escape prison and make it all the way up here? I think the cops in Louisiana stopped looking for us after a while. Weird that they'd just abandon the search like that. It is, but I took advantage of that opportunity to leave Louisiana, although I made some cool friends down there. Well why didn't you take them with you? I had plenty room in this house since my wife took the kids and ran off. Huh, she left you, since when? She uh, she wanted a divorce, and uh, she couldn't stand to be under the same roof as me. Sounds suspicious, but okay. Kinda weird that she left all her stuff though. Isn't that her purse on the counter? No. Well, what am I doing? I don't have to explain shit. Anyway, you can sleep in the attic. I was gonna give you the basement but uh, I, I didn't get a chance to clean up down there. Okay then, please tell me there's AC up there. All that time in Louisiana was horrible, weather-wise at least. You spent the winter months down there. I'm sure it wasn't that bad. The mosquitoes were out in full force in January of all months. And it was like 37 degrees. How the fuck does that happen? Don't know don't care. Well, make yourself at home. I got something to take care of. Oh and make sure to never go down to the basement. I don't want you to see how much a slob I really am. I'm okay then. I'll go get something to eat. I'm starving. Cousin Ben is acting so weird. That's why I usually don't fuck with the white side of my family. Damn, this sandwich is hitting. The fuck was that? Hey, oh well, it ain't any of my business. Let me finish this sandwich. I think I'm gonna hit the hay Ben. I'm exhausted. Yeah me too. Oh by the way, while you were gone, I heard a strange noise. I didn't investigate it. That's strange. Nobody here but me and you. I figured I was hearing things. Or maybe something hit the house. I don't know. Hmm, interesting. Well, those darn kids in the neighborhood are always horsing around. Maybe a ball hit the house. Yeah sure, I'm going to bed. Good night cousin. Night night. Didn't I tell you to keep it down bitch? My cousin heard the noise you made earlier. Why are you doing this to me Ben? Why? Because you don't listen. I told you that divorce was not an option. You do what I want you to do or do what I want you to do. You don't have a choice. It was a joke babe. I swear, I would never ever divorce you. Now, are you going to agree to that threesome with Big Bean? No, absolutely not. Have you seen how big his dick is? My little cookie won't be able to take it. Well, looks like you're gonna be stuck down here until you agree you bitch. No no no, please. Oh my god, this movie me and my cousin Louise is so funny. This is easily my new favorite. What what in the, why are they taking their clothes off? Ayo what the fuck. 
Is this supposed to be the cousin fucker version of Brokeback Mountain? The fuck was that? Damn neighborhood kids done broke a window. Ben is gonna be so pissed. Let me check it out. Okay something is clearly off here. I've been hearing strange noises ever since I came here. Ben is definitely hiding something. I feel, I feel like I should go down to the basement. Jesus fucking Christ this place is a mess. Maybe I should clean this up for him. Wait who in the, who the fuck, who are you? Oh thank god, it's not him. Please, let me out of here. I knew that weird ass motherfucker was hiding something. But who is you? I'm, I'm Ilsa, Ben's wife. Excuse me, he said that his wife left him and took the kids. No no no, we, we don't have kids. I, I, I told him I was done. Done. I didn't want to keep living this life. What life? We're swingers. Wow. I am completely and utterly shocked by this revelation. I would have never ever guessed he'd be into some weird shit. What time is it? He might be coming home soon. Ah. Uh, 3.35 p.m. Ah damn. He gets off work at 3.30 p.m. Just forget everything okay. I. I don't want to know what happens if he catches you down here. Fine. You have fun I guess. And tell Ben to give you a bath. You smell like spoiled seafood. A uh, girl, the window is cracked open. Leave. Wah, what? I opened the window for you. Leave, I got a ride waiting for you outside. Really? You're the best? Uh, Marissa? Yes, no problem. Now get out so I can make it look like some punk motherfucker broke in here and kidnapped you. Okay, okay. Thank you for everything, stranger. I don't know who you are but... But, God bless you. I wish nothing but the best for you. Who? Whoever you are lady. Are you a lady? Cause you got a deep voice. Doesn't matter. God bless you. Bye. Goofy long winded ass bitch. What in the fuck happened here? Helena, Helena, where are you? Oh thank god you're home. Ben, some thugs broke in. I had to hide. What the? How? When? Why didn't you call the police or something? I was scared. They were yelling and I think one of them went down to the basement. No no no. Damn it. Not the basement. I keep important things down there. I have to go check it out. Meanwhile, call the police. Okay. I'll. I'll do that. I can't believe this dumb bitch didn't call the cops. Now let me see. What the fuck? She's gone. Fuck. And why is that window open? Motherfuckers took the bitch and snuck her out the window. How in the fuck did she call for help? Shit. Everything is fine down there. They didn't take anything. Why did they break in though? I thought you said this neighborhood was safe. It is. That's why I'm so confused by this. Anyway, are the cops on their way? Yes they are. Good, cause I wanna have a word with them. Okay sir, we have finished searching and it seems that there was no forced entry. Matter of fact, are you sure the front door wasn't unlocked? What the? No, I always lock my door before going to work. Strange. Also, I'm confused as to why the intruder damaged the house but didn't take anything. What? Nothing is missing. No sir. Not as far as we can tell. 
How long have you been having that house guest? Is she into any nefarious dealings? Um well no, not at all. Odd. We haven't been called to a house on this street in years and since she's come, this is the second call we got from this residence. Second call? What? Yeah, we got a call a couple days ago, but whoever it was hung up. Oh really? Well, thank you officer. I appreciate your assistance. Happy to serve sir. What the fuck happened Helena? The cop told me it doesn't look like someone broke in. First, you need to watch your language with me. Second, obviously that cop is fucking blind because three guys broke into the house. I know what I heard. You went down to the basement didn't you? I know you did. No, I did not. You can trust me. Obviously not because the only way into the basement was the code. I installed a steel door there. It is nearly impossible to break in. Plus, the window can only open from the outside. What? What are you even talking about? You're becoming delusional. Bitch. I never should have invited you here. You helped Ilsa escape. Fine. You got me. I helped your wife escape and I called in a favor from a friend in Omaha to come pick her up. Oh and it was me that destroyed the house. That's what you get for hiding shit. You think I wouldn't find out. You motherfucking piece of light skinned tranny fake titty having dick chopping off weirdo mentally confused shit. You just made a fatal mistake. Got me completely fucked up nigga. Gotta be faster than that bitch. What the fuck? Did you just grab my titty? Sure did. You went too far. Dumb motherfucker. You really thought you could beat me. Fuck that. Wait. Shit. Not again. Damn it Helena. You need to stop killing people. I'm not dead. But I'm hurt real bad. If I call the ambulance, you're not gonna tell them what really happened right? You better promise me. I promise. I swear. That motherfucking piece of lying shit. He told y'all everything. Seriously. Yes. You're being extradited to Louisiana tomorrow. Have fun. Fuck fuck fuck. It just smells like corruption around here. Now let me see if I can get in contact with this Serenity character. Hello who is this? Zamir Cole with Channel 5 News speaking. Are you Miss Serenity Stephanopoulos? Um, yeah this is she. What's going on? Well, I recently got some information about corruption in the Homa Police Department and your contact information was given to me. I just need to ask a few questions. Okay shoot. So on my notes, it says you were terminated by the HPD after threatening to expose one of your superiors. What can you tell me about that experience? Wait wait wait. Are you doing a story on Oneida? Yes I am. Oh cool. But aren't you doing this a little too soon? Her brother was murdered a couple months ago and I'm assuming she's still dealing with that. Media doesn't have a grieving period. We just shake it off and keep it moving, so I'm applying that same thing to Oneida. Well, okay then. Yes, she did fire me because she was intentionally trying to exacerbate the evidence and I called her out on it. She had high hopes to get Mina a longer sentence. Interesting. Very interesting. Anything else? I still think it was shitty of her to try to make her husband's death not his fault and pin the crime on somebody. Understandable. Well, thank you for this information. One more thing, make sure you tune into Channel 5 News next Monday. Oh I definitely will. Goodbye. I freaking hate finals. I swear. Study this. Study that. How about they study my ah? Uh, Oh hey mom, what's up? Have you seen Sebastian today? Yes. He told me he had something to do. He left around 10 a.m. Something to do? Like what? He didn't go into detail. For all we know he could have a job or something. I doubt that. Why would he need a job? For what? Well being stuck in the house doesn't do wonders for your health. I don't blame him. But he would have told us if he had a job now. I hope he remembers he still has to take finals even though he's expelled. I'm sure he knows. Don't sweat it mom. I'll let you know when he comes home. Why? I'll be in the kitchen, I'll see him come in myself. Fine, whatever works. I need to finish studying though for real mom. Okay then, have fun. I can easily make a dash for the exit. The cashier looks old and slow. I just gotta take this tablet off the display and run. Nah, I better steal some phones. Worth more on the streets anyway.
Oh crap. Sebastian where have you been all day? Oh hi mom. I was getting some. Uh some fresh air. Being locked up in the house was driving me crazy. It took you 7 hours to get fresh air. You really expect me to believe that? Yeah. And I uh. I went go see a friend. Didn't I tell you that you were grounded after getting expelled? If you told me you had got a job, then I'd let that slide. But this. This is a clear disregard of the rules I set. I'm. I'm sorry mom. I was going crazy. You need to be going crazy studying for those finals. Now go upstairs young man. Okay mom. Have you heard of knocking first? Jesus Christ. Doesn't matter sis. I got something to show you. Can't this wait? I'm trying to study. No it can't wait. Check this out. Oh my god. How did you get those three phones? I pulled a heist at the local electronics store. It was too easy. You. You stole these. Really bass. That's wrong. I can easily flip these on the streets for half the price. Boom. Profit. What are you even talking about? Flipping. Huh. Who needs a job when you can steal high value items and sell them at a discount? No 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 Sebastian. You have to stop this. Do you know what happens if you get caught? You'll go to prison. I'll never get caught. I'm too smart. Trust me sis, we will be rich pretty soon. I don't want any part in this. Get out of my room. Fine then. Suit yourself. More money for me. Something unusual is going on, and I don't know what it is. What do you mean? Like, all of my evidence from my husband's case has gone missing. And I feel like I'm being followed. Maybe I should check in with a grief counselor. Maybe so. You've been running yourself ragged with everything that's happened lately. Maybe you should take a mental health break. No I can't. Not until I find out what happened to my brother. Oneida. I'm telling you this not as your subordinate but as someone who is extremely concerned about you. Take a break. Please. You won't be able to solve your brother's murder if you're dead as well. No Kareem. You listen to me. I made a promise to Arthur's wife Maddie that I would find out who killed him. I can't look like a lying bitch. I can't. I will not stop until I have the murderer in prison. Fine. By the way, there was an update to Arthur's autopsy I think you should see. An update? What do you mean? The blood test you requested months ago. Wait, why are you telling me about this now? Well, it just came through. For some odd reason, they had to send his blood sample to several different labs. Let me see it. Here you go. Let me look at this. Okay, everything seems normal I don't understand what. What what what? What's wrong? There is no way. This has to be a lie. What is? It says Arthur was HIV positive. What the fuck? How? There is no way. Kareem, can you excuse yourself? I need to call Maddie. I can't believe this. Mom, yes mom. Oh hey Oneida, how are you? Madeline. I finally got Arthur's blood test results back in I, I don't know how to say this. How what? Blood test? What's going on? What happened? Arthur. He. He. He was HIV positive. Don't lie about my husband like that Oneida. What is wrong with you? It's not a lie Maddie. I put it on my parents grave. That's what the lab results say. No no no. But how? Why? He was never a drug addict. He's never cheated on me. How? I have no clue Maddie. I'd say, it's best if you go get yourself tested. Just to be on the safe side. This has got to be a sick joke. Why is this happening to me? I'm so sorry Maddie. I'm so sorry. <laughs>